All right. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Uh, we are getting close to the holidays, so I'm sure that a lot of us will be traveling within the next couple of weeks. So uh, I thought it'd be a great idea to have a uh, traveling with oils class. Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Amanda Fogel, and I'm one of the leaders uh, with our Savvy Oiler crew. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, it's going to be a super quick class tonight because I do know that we are a week and a half away from uh, the Christmas holiday. So I know that a lot of us are still busy just wrapping up those last minute things. So let's just go ahead and get started. So when we're traveling with our oils, the first thing that I want everyone to think of are just five oils that you use on a daily basis and write them down because those are going to be the ones that you're going to pack immediately. So um, those five oils, you want to make sure that you bring with you because those are your daily oils. So think of just five oils. And even if you make a list right now, write them down because, again, you want to make sure that you pack those oils. The next thing that you want to think about are is the environment that you're traveling to. What exactly are you going to be doing on this trip? Are you going to be hiking? If you're going to be hiking, think of things such as what essential oils could I possibly use if I come into contact with something such as poison ivy? Am I gonna be a working? Is this a working trip? Do I need uh, a certain essential oils to help me focus on what I'm learning or what I'm working on? Or am I just gonna be nice and relaxed and laying on the beach in the Caribbean somewhere? Uh, do I need to bring some lavender um, and some peppermint because I may have laid out in the sun too long and gotten a little bit of redness on my skin that I might have to take care of later on in the evening. So think about what you're gonna be doing on your trip because you might wanna bring certain oils on that trip depending on what you're gonna actually be doing. And last but not least, think of two to three oils that you need to bring in case of emergency. These are things such as uh, helichrysum. So are you going to need that on your trip? Are you going to need copaiba on your trip? Um, just think of maybe two to three oils that you use in, in the case that there's ever an emergency, whether it's between you, your kids, or your significant other, just your go-to emergency oil. Um, that way you have them on hand when you're not at home with your full oily shelf uh, that's hanging on your wall. So these are just some things to think of when it comes to oils to grab and add while you're packing for your trip. All right, next up is Ningxia. So uh, at home, we love using the Ninja bottles, but you do not want to pack those in your suitcase while you're traveling. Yes, they are glass and they are breakable. Uh, not to mention if you are flying, it could add a little extra weight to your baggage as well. So think about um, just pouching it. So if you are traveling or even before you're traveling, always have a box of the singles at home. So Young Living does sell the little pouches, they're two ounce um, pouches of Ninja Red. So they're very, very easy to uh, put on your carry-on bag. You can pack them in a Ziploc bag. I always like to put them in a Ziploc bag just in case in my suitcase. Uh, that way you don't have to ship this whole glass bottle with you while you're traveling. They're great because you can put one or two in your carry-on and then you could also put the rest of them in your suitcase that way you have your ninja with you while you're on vacation whether it's one day that you're on vacation or an entire week that you're on vacation you can have those packets ready to roll and they're so easy to use on the go as well because you just tear off the top uh, drink it down and then throw away the pouch also keep in mind, don't go without bringing your Ninja Nitro either. Those are going to be, uh, they're gonna come out really good handy when you're traveling because it's gonna give you that e extra boost of energy. So on your travel days, uh, the day that you leave, add it in your carry-on. I will say that this is something that I did um, last month when we went on a trip. I uh, brought my nitro. I got an orange juice on my flight, and I added my nitro right into my orange juice, and I was ready to roll. And my flight, I will tell you, left probably about 7.30 in the morning, and we were out until probably 11.30 at night, and I was ready to roll all day with that extra boost of energy from that nitro. So if you have to bring just two, have it 
have one the day that you leave for your trip and take the second one the day home. Now with the Ninja, it's really great though because they sell just the a box of the singles and then they also um, sell them in bundles as well. So you can get your two bottles of Ninja with your box of singles too, or you can get the bundle that has the two bottles of Ninja, the packet, uh, the singles as well as the box of nitro so there are different variations on how you can buy them and just again with that box of singles keep it to the side for when you really need it for when you're traveling all right so make make some rulers you guys so when it comes to traveling with our essential oils we want to obviously bring our oils with us but there's no way that we can bring every single oil with us, even though we would love to, it's just not feasible because we have to pack clothes and other things uh, to come along with us on our trip as well. So save space by making those rollers, condense and make them versatile. My number one roller, and if you guys have attended any of my classes before, you've heard me talk about this roller. It has joy, valor, lavender, ylang ylang, peppermint, stress away, and frankincense. This roller helps me with so many different things all combined into one roller. So I have my emotional support oils in there with the joy, the valor. I have the lavender to help calm me down. I have the yang yang, which actually I did, I love the smell of it. And I put it in there really just as the, to give me that perfume smell because I don't use perfumes. Uh, peppermint is great because that helps me with headaches. So I use this roller when I'm out um, and I might get a headache. I roll that roller right across my forehead and right on my temples. And it helps me with, with um, any kind of head tension. Stress away, that speaks for itself. And then um, of course the frankincense for the grounding too. So this roller helps me with a lot of different things with me just carrying a simple um, roller in my purse and it fits right in my purse and doesn't take up much space. So think of uh, different combinations of oils that you could use for different things, whether it's um, a roller like my favorite or a wellness roller or a sleepy time roller. That way you're not bringing a whole bottle. Well, you would want to bring a whole bottle of lavender. I mean, that's one of my five oils, but you could do a lavender and cedar wood. That way you might not want to bring both of those oils to help you sleep. These are just ideas to help you really just condense and make less room room um, in your suitcase and you're not having to pack an entire suitcase while traveling on vacation just for your essential oils. All right. And of course, with Young Living, um, they provide a lot of different products other than essential oils. So you're thinking to yourself, what could I possibly be missing while you're making your list uh, before packing? And if you don't make a list, make a list. It's very important because it will help you not forget things. So uh, do you have your moisturizer packed? Young Living has a great new moisturizer. It is um, a part of the Bloom line and it was released for the holiday um, the holiday catalog. And if you have not gotten it yet, um, I believe it is part of the sale that is happening and it ends tonight. So get on that. Um, I started using it. It's got a mixture of the sheer loom moisturizer and the bloom ingredients as well. So get that. It, it also comes with a really nice spa head wrap, uh, a um, a bag that comes with sponges that helps you really clean your face. And then it also comes with a uh, gua sha stone to really help you massage your face. And just, I will tell you, it really helps the circulation in your face as well. So um, definitely take a look at that. And that's something that you could really just throw in your bag as one big pack as well when you're packing. Um, also, don't forget your makeup. So uh, there is the Savvy Minerals um, collection that Young Living has for makeup. Hopefully you are packing toothpaste and mouthwash. Uh, so of, of course, Young Living has the toothpaste and mouthwash as well. And um, shampoo, conditioner. And one quick thing about uh, the bar soap. Don't pack your entire bar soap, you guys. So a really easy thing that you could do, especially with the charcoal bar soap with Young Living. So that soap, I kid you not, will last you months if you buy the charcoal bar soap. One thing that you can do is just, um, I do it every time I go on vacation and I just cut off just a little bitty square and I put it in a Ziploc bag and I put it in my suitcase and that square will last me over a week. All right. So you don't have to pack your entire um, charcoal bar. So bring it with you. 
put it that in a, a hotel shower well that which, which isn't your shower but it's a, a the shower that other people have used which you don't know if it's been cleaned properly but um and then you don't have to worry about it getting all wet and then repacking it and bringing it home very small square put it in a ziploc bag and put it in your bag in your suitcase and also bring a small diffuser with you the um the dew drop diffuser is pretty pretty small so it's actually a great one to travel with and that way you can if you're in a hotel room or an airbnb you can go ahead and diffuse your essential oils while you're in the room with you so just get one of those smaller diffusers that way it's um, easy to pack in your suitcase as well all right Another thing to think about is how are you traveling? Are you flying? Are you going on a train? Are you taking a cruise somewhere or even renting a car? These are some things to think about because if you're not taking your own car or you're taking public transportation, you're gonna wanna bring the thieves wipes. I take these all the time on airplanes when I fly. Um, the thieves wipes, just take one wipe, wipe down um, your tray table, wipe down your, your airline seat, the window and the, um, Oh my gosh, I can't think of what they're called. Uh, the armrests, sorry, and wipe down your armrests. So one wipe will take care of all of that for you. Even though they clean the airplanes or the trains or the cruises that you might be going on, it doesn't hurt to go the, the extra step to make sure that it's clean. And you're cleaning it with these, these natural clean, the natural cleaner as well that's not filled with all the toxins that could come in other wipes or disinfectants. Um, obviously right now, I'm sure that all of us have hand sanitizer in our purse. We've been carrying that around in our purses for almost two years now, if not longer, but uh, Young Living does offer their hand sanitizers as well. Also, if you're going on an airplane or any public transportation right now, um, we are still having to wear masks. So grab those aroma rings, put them right in your nose, Put your mask on the lavender one. I absolutely love using those when I'm flying. It not, not only just has a great scent to it, but it's really soothing and calming as well. So if you have not tried the aroma rings, I highly suggest it, especially not even if you're just traveling, but if you're having to wear um, masks often, grab those aroma rings and they will definitely help you out as well. And of course, bring an emotional support um, roller with you because I don't know about you, but traveling kind of stresses me out just because even while I'm sitting at the airport, I'm wondering if I forgot anything. Uh, I'm hoping that my flight is on time so I can make the plan, my plans uh, for when I land. So just, you never know what could happen. So always have your emotional support oil and rollers ready to roll just in case those traveling itches and stresses come up to try and bite you, but you're gonna combat them with that, uh, that roller or those oils. So let's get packing. So how are you going to carry all this stuff? Very simple, you guys. So before I even go over an oil bag, you already carry a toiletry bag. You already carry makeup right now. It's just making that switch to uh, a makeup that could be better for your skin. Uh, travel bottles, those itty bitty bottles, you could still put your Young Living shampoo and conditioner in those bottles as well. A makeup bag. Most of us wear makeup. Um, and I'm sorry, toiletry bags would be your um, your toothpaste, your mouthwash, those things. And then, of course, your makeup bag to put your makeup in it as well. And for the oil bag. So this is the one the one thing that you're going to want to make sure is with you at all times, whether it's in your purse, even when you're not traveling, you're going to want to make sure that it's in your carry on. Yes, you could bring your essential oils on your carry on bag. I, I did it twice last month when I was traveling, um, but with the oil bags. So the reason why I say size matters is because it could range, these bags could range from anywhere from carrying five, um, five essential oil bottles up to even 20 bottles. So just making sure that you're getting the right size that best suits you. Now, of course, if you are a minimalist and you don't want to carry all of those oils with you, grab a smaller one. But I, I'm that kind of person where I'm somewhere in the middle where I can carry anywhere between 10 to 15 in my oil bag. But of course, that is my five oils that I cannot go a day without. Uh, the rollers that I make and then just any additional oil in my emergency oils along with any additional ones that I might need uh, throughout my trip. Again, a uh, very simple class tonight, y'all. So just a little bit of tips on how to really just get the best um, bang out of traveling with your oils, how to get the most of your products with you while you're traveling. Now, if you're not, if you're not a member yet, 
Uh, there are three ways to become a member or to get your hands on some of these products. The first one is simple. It's just becoming a customer with Young Living. Uh, you don't have to sign up for any monthly subscription. You're not, you don't have to order something every single month. That's just going on and you can order anything from one item to 200 items. It's all up to the individual. Now, uh, in order to unlock the 24% off savings for a year, that first purchase, you would want to go ahead and uh, hit what we call 100 PV, which is usually about $100. So just pay attention to what you're purchasing. And not only are you unlocking 24% off, but you're also unlocking free shipping as well, just for becoming a customer and hitting that 100 PV. The second way that you can uh, get started with these products is signing up for subscribe to save it is an excellent program where you can earn points on your orders in order to use on for on future purchases i can tell you that i have gotten quite a few items from young living for free because of those points that i have received from my subscribe to save orders the last way to go ahead and get started is becoming a brand partner and it's really easy you uh, purchase the additional package to become a brand partner uh, and then it comes with a lot of really good resources and you just share about the products that you're using. And with that, uh, that also unlocks the 24% off savings as well. Uh, I hope tonight you all gain just a little bit of uh, tips and tricks on traveling with your, not just oils, but your Young Living products. And I uh, hope that you all have a happy holiday and uh, be safe out there.